Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, welcome back uh, to Northern Kiwis. Um, back again with me. Uh, so, lucky enough to get out uh, into the water again. Back on the Wellington South Coast. It's been a while since I've been in the water. It's been almost six months since Christmas. So, see how we go. Hopefully we see something. We're currently just setting up our gears. The bro Hardy, uh, he's coming out for a dive. Um, yeah, I'll bring you along with us and uh, see how we go. See you in the water. Good everyone, welcome back under water. Uh, today I'm just going to talk through uh, about what I'm getting up to on my dive and uh, hopefully shed a little bit more of an insight into, uh, into diving and how easy it can be or how enjoyable it, it can be as well. So right now I'm just trying to get out a cray out of a little hole that I spotted just on my last dive prior to this. Um, coming up to the winter months, a lot of crays come into the shallows and shed their shells. So it pays to be quite gentle with them when you're handling with them around this time as it's easy to break off legs and stuff like that, which stunts their growth. So yeah, that one was soft shell. Um, it flew straight back down to the bottom, uh, back to live another day, and it's also illegal to take um, crayfish from their own soft shell as well. Here goes another little cray, spotted, it's out, out under this little rock, quick grab. So we're on the other side of the rock hoping to find maybe another one, hopefully a cray that's a little bit bigger, but unfortunately, um, yeah, didn't see anything, so back up to the top I go. As you can see, um, one of its legs fell off. Um, when they're soft shell they can be quite fragile so yeah I felt pretty wretched after that but that's just a little bit of the reality of um, dealing or grabbing with craze around that time of the year or this time of the year. So lucky enough to spot this one from the surface, um, he had his antennas up and it made for a quick easy grab, being able to come up under the antennas and being able to grab the base of his horns. So yeah, a nice um, male red and the shell on this was nice and hard, so legal to take. A nice decent sized crayfish. So this was a bit of a crack up, I poke up my head to see where the bro is. I'm looking at this bit of seaweed that's drifting around. At the time I didn't realise it was a big bit of bull cow. Um, I thought it might have been a seal. And straight away when I thought seal, I just thought of a bloody shark. Yeah, bit of a laugh. Got my, got the old brain firing and um, feeling like I needed eyes in the back of my head just in case there might be something swimming around. But it's the risks we take for the things that we love doing. So, yeah, I don't mind. Anyways, yes, found a nice little cray nest. Um, and just at the top of the screen, um, there's a nice buck sitting there. Um, gave a quick grab to stop it from going into the into its hole, ramming it up against the side of the wall, and yeah, managed to get it out. Another cray secured. Quick feel of the carapace. Making sure it's not soft shell. And straight into the flood.
So this was a bit of a laugh. I was searching around on the bottom looking for this power that I seen just before. I couldn't find it. Then wham, my eyes locked onto it at the end of my breath. And I was like, oh shit, I've got to go back up top and come back down again. And the same thing happens. I'm trying to find where it was. I'm like, I swear it was just here. Having a nosy around. And aha, there it is. And a nice little treat. They had a kinna next to him as well, so. Yeah, he was coming with me. It was almost legal sideways, so yeah, still quite a decent part. So I generally always um, try to punch my powers off the rocks and uh, this power took quite a beating. I was very surprised at how strong it was. I gave it six good hits and it managed to get the better of me so I guess I'll have to fight another day. This is the final from the dive, or what's left anyways. Five powers, some nice size cannons, nice size powers too, in the flicker sideways. And a couple of nice um a couple of nice crays, this is the bigger one. Yeah. Quite good size. Um sweet everyone, so um decided to turn this into a little bit of a kitchen cook with uh, some power. Um first thing you're gonna have to do is put the power out of its misery. Um, the easiest way to do that, or the way I find, or have been taught from growing up, is putting your thumb up underneath the front of it. Just the front of the bar where the point is. Putting your thumb up underneath and you'll feel where it's holding on to the shell, which is there. That little round bit. Pulling the power back. And if you've done this correctly, you should be able to pop out the power and leave the hua or the guts in the shell. And once you've done that, you just pop out the teeth. Those little red things there. And that is one dressed power. So what I like to do with them is leave them in the bowl overnight to let them bleed out and let out all the blood. I find that um, it makes them a little bit more tender without having to bash them or blast them in hot water. Um, so yeah, once all the blood leaks out of them, um, they'll be a lot um, more better to eat and a lot more prepared. And as well as the hua. So if, there's a, if you've got a fat creamy one like that, awesome to add into your powers and cream. Gives it a bit more of an intense flavour or power flavour, which I like. Um, so for those of you who are up to it, if you ever get a fat hua or a fat um, power guts, um, yeah, add that in there as well. Just chop it up finely or put it in with the mincer as well. Um, gives it a, a lot more intense flavour. Sweet. Well, that is the part of blood that you drain out as best you can. I'm going to quickly cook the power. Um, nice, simple, easy way. Um, Roughly chopped onion, good to go. A little bit of butter in the pan. Thinly slice it. 
Be fine. Chop up the hua. A little bit of garlic. Not too much garlic, roughly chopped. Um, this is for the crayfish. So, you don't want to add too much cream, but enough to take the powers. Just want to cook it enough so that the parlor starts to curl a little bit. Uh, once it starts curling, turn off the heat, otherwise it will turn into what they call rubber boots. It uh, becomes really tough. A little mix. It's hard to this shit with one hand when you're trying to build. Over. Uh, so that's the end to, well, a uh, little catch and cook with some pals. Um, well, just to sit, show you how tender they are. Falls apart in your mouth, really. <clears throat> On a bit of rice. Simple, easy to do and tastes nice. Mm. The legs of a cray. The best part. Mm, yum. Oh well, that brings us to the end. Um, I hope you've enjoyed and I hope you've learned something. Um, I hope it inspires you to get out there and go do something for yourself as well. Very easy to do, good fun, and you get to eat a lot of good food at the end of the day as well. Um, yeah, cheers. We'll catch you on the next one.